everyone out there, and welcome to the Holly Whimsy Show. And tonight on Holly Whimsy, we are interviewing our special guest here. Hi, everyone. I'm Camelia. And Camelia is here with us all the way from China. She has come to do what exactly? Come to do in China. Study? Ooh, wonderful. And uh, what is it about Canada that excites you as someone coming all the way from China? I mean, that's like, what, 22 hours of plane ride or something? Mm, I don't know. It's 25 hours. 25 hours. Yeah. All the way here. Why? Um, I, I just want to go outside of my country to mm -hmm. a place that is more multicultural. Mm -hmm. And Montreal is a place where you can see the, the elements from the Europe and the elements from uh, North America. And also, like, I can meet people from all over the world here. So this is the reason why I choose this place. Wonderful. Yeah. I find this completely fascinating, and the fact that you came all the way here by yourself um, is something that just brings me right back. I uh, I don't know if I'd be brave enough to do that all on my own. I mean, mm -hmm. do you ever like second guess your decision? Do you think that it's worth it? Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? Um, I don't find it's it's worth or not. Maybe after uh, four years of my study, but I think it's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, in China, I think like so many people live in the same way, mm -hmm. um, and you know there's so many ways of life in the, in this world. So I want like travel into a different country and see people with different lives, and to discover what kind of life I like. Wow. And um, so, I mean, speaking more about the kind of life that you would want to live, mm -hmm. how do you see yourself? Um, living in the future? Um, uh, it's not quite clear now, um, but I know that if I feel good doing something, I will continue to do that. So I think I will spend my future trying to do all kinds of things that interest me and find which one I love the best. Wow. So, uh, I mean, have you made many friends here in Canada yet, or are you still sort of figuring that out? Like, do you mm -hmm. like it? Do you like Canada so far? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's pretty friendly. Are we nice? Yeah. The first, um, like the first week I'm in Canada, I feel the people are so nice here. Wow. Uh, like when I was in China, in my city, uh, I walk on the street, and no one smiles to me. Really? Yeah. That's ridiculous. I, I can't imagine walking down the street and not feeling like... Um, because so many people in really? the on the street. They have a have large population. You can smell to everyone. Or you feel this <laughs> <laughs> And that would be not too, uh, not too comfortable for everyone, I'm sure. And especially not for yourself, always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's smelling to everyone. I have mean, good. Yeah, the population there is pretty over overpopulated. Yeah. It's really overpopulated. And... Uh, like I'm living in a big city in China. Really? What what city are you from? Shenzhou. It's in uh, southwest China. Southwest China. Yeah, it's like the biggest city in the southwest part. Wow. Um, previously on the show, I had a uh, talk to Kimia just exactly how she lived in China, and she had mentioned to me that uh, she lived on her own in this big city, mm -hmm. Chengdu, as you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, it's obvious that she's very independent and brave and very strong-willed. Uh, I'm just wondering, how do you maintain something like that? How do you live on your own in such a large city? Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, and you're not that old. Or how, do you, how do you build up the courage? Mm -hmm. It's because, like, living in a big city, you can discover more things than in, a, uh, in my, like, where I'm from, it's a, a town. Mm -hmm. Mine is more than a city. And in that city, I meet people that are really nice and doing things I like. Mm -hmm. So I work with them, which makes me happy. Yeah, yeah. So I think this, uh, this is what maintains me and gives me courage to live alone in the city. Mm -hmm. But I heard you do have a dog. Yeah, I have a dog. And what's his name? No. No? Yeah. Oh, gosh. How old is he? Um, she, oh, um, she? Yeah, she's she's almost oh, one year old. So she's just a baby. Yeah, it's a baby dog. Oh, and why 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 is her name Snow? I have to um, because okay. Uh this is the second dog we have in my family. The first one is also called Snow because um uh, she's um her 